Good morning, everybody. It is October 14th. It is Columbus Day. So let's get sailing into the market and see what's going to happen today. It opened up pretty green. We're starting our live show, pre-market live show, like an hour and a half later because it's Columbus Day. So here we go. Let's dive into the market and see what is going on. All information presented here is for educational and informational purposes only. It's not intended as financial advice. So always do your due diligence. The market opened pretty green this morning. Microsoft's up 0.31%. Uh, Apple's up more than a half a percent. Google's up 0.31%. Meta's up 0.69%. Amazon's up 0.36%. Tesla's up over a percent. NVIDIA's up over a percent. So Mag 7's pretty green, mostly pretty green. Energy's a little down. And uh, let's look at our Jolie's jumpers this morning and see how we are looking and what's popping. And then we'll look and see what's going to be popping. So here we go. Let me pull them up real fast. ALZN. Let's take a quick look at it. It was up four cents. It did jump up way more this morning. Eight. ALZN. And what it get up to 223. It opened at 181, got down to 158. And now it's sitting at 170. Looks like it might be pulling back, hit that resistance right there. So, but that did move this morning. It definitely was a Jolie's jumper. ATIF, that's up two cents. That ran up on Friday and is just trying to like get moving. It's not really moving. I mean, trying to, but not exactly. It uh, opened at 122. It got up to 130. It's low as 118, and it's at 124. And again, uh, Friday, thing popped up to 150. So it's trying to get up there. It's not looking bad. So keep your eye on if it can, can keep that, uh, some momentum. It could get moving, and everything is basically green this morning, so they could move as the market opens. How about that BLNK? Because that one we knew was at the bottom and starting to set up, and let's see if it's moving yet. I don't think it is. Nope, it's not moving. It doesn't like to move in the morning, but keep your eye on it. It is at 199, and it has been setting up and wants to get moving. It is up over to 50 now, so it's looking better. DWTX. Dogwood Therapeutics down 42 cents, but this one uh, was moving and it ran pretty good on Friday as well. Let me just take a better look. W DWTX. Let's see what this bad boy is doing here. It is curled up and trying to get moving. Friday, like I said, got rolling uh, all the way to 529, and it's back to 367. But keep your eye on it. It may try to get that momentum today. We'll have to see. Um, it doesn't look too bad. Let's put it that way. So we'll check it out and see if it does get momentum. INDP. Let's see this guy. It's uh, 127 right there. Let me look on mine, INDP, and that another one that ran up on Friday, Thursday. This has Thursday, and it doesn't even have today. It doesn't look like, but this ran up pretty nice on Thursday, and it was continuing to keep momentum on Friday. Doesn't seem, let me see Webbull, INDP, and see if it's doing anything this morning. It is not doing anything this morning, so there you go. INDP is not doing anything yet, so... But it is trying to get that momentum uh, from last week. So we'll have to keep an eye as that opens. Rivian seems to be down a few cents, but just setting up in a really nice spot right here. It's crossing through. Keep your eye on Rivian because it should start to run. So we will be looking at Rivian. You know that. So we've been watching it from top to bottom. And it was actually a good one to watch because we watched it before it got to the top, got all the way in the top, and then came all the way down and it's been running and finally setting back up. So got to see the whole run on it. S S S S. Four S's. Uh Suro Capital. That was up. That wow, that ran up nice on Friday and, and even today. Whew. That one's a cruiser, huh? And that's got four S's, S, 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 S. And that uh, ran up, what, Friday? It opened at 532, but it gapped up big time. So on Thursday, it closed at $4, and then it gapped up over a dollar. Um, It opened at that four, went right up to 550, and then came back down. Where no, it opened, it closed at 539, and then today it opened at 532. It ran up to 540 and it came back down to 505. It's in at 524. I think it might be at the top though, but it did run pretty nice. SOS, SSSS, four S's. 
I don't confuse you. Um, just saying four S's. Uh, but yeah, th that looks like it had run. So if you were in that, look to be locking in your profits there. But what a run the last few days for that guy. TVGN, this one's starting to cruise. It went from uh, basement right to the top. And you could have a little bit of momentum on this one, TVGN. So you have to watch it today, see if it wants to continue to move up. But on Thursday or Friday, that thing went cruising up to 108. This morning opened at 94, only got to 95, came down to 71. It's at 85. So we'll have to see if it can turn around and get some more momentum again. But that did cruise the last few days. And that's TVGN. And there you go with our Jolie's jumpers. Thank you very much, Asian Jolie. And let's just take a quick look and see what's going on in the market. Let's look at the scanner real quick. And let me take a look. See what's popping and what jumps out to me. Obviously, TVGN, JTAI. What did that do this morning? Let's see. That's up another two cents. It ran up really nice last week, and it looks like it wants to continue. So watch JTAI, um, CETX. This one was trying to get moving. Let's see what it's doing this morning. Let me look at it on mine. CETX, because it did appear that it was trying to do something this morning. Opened at 44, got up to 56, and uh, 41 was its lower. It's sitting 43 right now, and that is today's date. So, yeah, CETX, I thought it was trying to move this morning. So keep your eye on that one. We've been watching it for that little bounce right there. And let me just take a better look at it at the moment. Hold on one sec. I'm just looking at this. Yeah, yeah. it's going to start curling up. And again, we know that they jump around a lot. So you have to be careful because it can can close lower than the, the previous day. And um, we're well aware of that. That happens quite often. XPON, that one's bouncing off that bottom there and ran up. Was that today? or? Yeah, that is today. XPON looks like it was running up this morning here. Let's take a quick look. It opened at 339 and got up to 470. There's another one that we were talking about that popped up. So, yeah, your web bowlers are uh, definitely the place that you have to be trading these guys. So if you're jumping in them, don't be jumping in them on other platforms besides web bowl. And if you're not on web bowl, I'll post the link again. Laptop Travels posted a few times. I just got approved, so it's easy. You can set up the account very, very easily. And they will approve you, and then you can start trading at 4 a.m. So I'll post that, and you get you get some free fractional shares depending on how much you deposit. So um, I'll send that link out later. If you're interested in it, you can check that out. And, yeah, these uh, penny stocks are just crazy in the morning. So, But XPON definitely jumped up but was up higher this morning in the web bull hours. Could have been in the where it is later. I'm thinking it's seven, but it's eight forty five, so it could have jumped up a little bit. How about our yin and our yang? Let's look at it real fast. Well, there we go. The yin and the yang. The yang is up sixteen cents this morning. It crossed through, and I'm telling you, it looks good. I don't know what this ad keeps coming up on here. Um, but yeah, here's the yang right here, and. It's not showing me on anything on stock charts, obviously. Let me look at my chart. But, yeah, it crossed through, and I'm telling you, this bad boy wants to get moving. And uh, let's look at the yin real quick because I'm sure it's coming down harder. Um, the fact that it was already crossing down the other day, it's down $1.81, and it is coming down. So here we go. And we got to watch when it gets to this 37 area right here because the 20 – and honestly, it looks like it's going to smash through that at the moment. So I'll keep my eye on it as it's working today and moving. And we'll see how it's going towards that. But um, doesn't look like it wants to bounce back up just yet. We'll keep an eye on it. Like I said, this Yang looks like it wants to get cruising right here. So we are watching it. It popped out of the basement and it curled through all at the same time. A good look that you want to see usually. And I think it's going to be moving and the China stocks are going to start reversing. I mean, maybe it'll still have fake pumps. They're they're crazy ones. So we're going to keep our eye on the ones that we're watching, especially today. I'll go through them all and see what's happening and I'll keep everybody updated, obviously. So we will know what's happening with them. But yeah, XPON, big, 
big pop right there. Knew that was happening. So we have been watching the market pretty nice, and we've been really zeroing in on some. Let me look at FXI real fast. That's the uh, China big cap one and see what that's doing. That is down 50 cents, and, and it did. It had that look sort of like um like the uh, other uh, – the yin – so it, it was coming down right there and it is pulling back 50 cents. So I'll keep my eye on that as well. And let's look at the spy and the big cappers. They look like uh, they're doing pretty nice dollar nine up. Uh, the spies up to 580. There you go. Pretty sure I did say that last week and it's just going to keep on cruising. The thing is super bullish and it wants to run. So that is our spy. Let's look at our, uh, our, Oh, mag seven couldn't think of the word so let's look at nvidia nvda up at dollar 60 and it wants to get in the top and again these things are super super bullish and we're gonna have to evaluate them once they get into that top area because they are super bullish and they want to run right now so they're setting up to get crazy especially nvidia is looking really good right now apple AAPL up at dollar forty three, curling up right now and rolling off that MACD. Oh, that one's gonna get popping too. So Apple looks great. Google up fifty seven cents, and this one appears that it just just came through. It may make a hard uh, hook up and start cruising again. So Google, and I wonder what's going on with that antitrust thing. I'll have to check that out today and see what they're up to with that. Amazon, AMZN, up 90 cents and just about to curl through and getting super bullish. And you're about to get into the holiday season soon. So remember that about Amazon. It should be looking good. Meta has been cruising. It's back up $4.31 to five ninety four. dollars Wants to get back into the top and run some more. It should have came down and made some room, but I guess they're going to have to all pull back uh, sooner than later. Or uh, no, I won't say sooner than later. And like probably like a month or so, like right around the election, after the election, we'll have to see what's going on with these things. Because like I said, they're setting up to just run for the next few weeks, it looks like. So Microsoft is looking great. So keep your eye on Microsoft. It's up at dollar ninety one, and it is looking great. So that one keep your eye on and tesla's up 234 and it had that robo taxi day and bounced pretty hard it's at the not at the bottom but it's down to like it came down to its uh support line there it looks like it's just pulling back a little bit more nothing too crazy let me pull up tesla on mine yeah i would keep an eye on tesla because it's uh probably in a better spot right now and it is setting up to be super super bullish down the road so that is tesla and our mag 7 and they're all looking good they're all pretty much running today and they're all looking like they want to keep on cruising so tesla is the only one that you might want to see if it has a little bit of pullback nothing crazy as it uh, continues to set up there. I know crypto is moving this morning. Uh, as soon as we got off last night, we looked at it, and it was right there at the line. I was like, let me look at them, and we know Seoul was crossed through and looking good last night. And then as soon as we got done, Bitcoin decided to just make some crazy momentum and just start cruising last night right around midnight. And I did post it. It got through. And it wants to get moving through that 66 and just start rolling again. So that's Bitcoin, Solana, SOL. That's up to like, what, 153 again. And it's crossed through and it wants to get moving as well. Ethereum is at 2,557. And that bad boy wants to get cruising. So that's bouncing off to 50. Crawled up really nice and went through. So they all did last night. Uh, Doge is back at 11. Cardano's at 35. Let me take a look at Cardano getting off that 50 again, and that's going to crawl through and get moving finally. And Ripple's at 53. And let's see if it wants to start ripping. Oh, yeah, it's getting crawled up there and going to get through, obviously, with everything else. So that one's going to get ripping. And how about Bonk? B O N K. And I think we might be able to finally start this uh, bull market. 
and Bonk's going to get cruising off that 100 and really get rolling there. So our crypto is looking really, really nice, guys. And uh, we love it because it's finally going to start that bull cycle. Um, been long enough here, so we need to get that bad boy rolling. And it looks like it wants to. Let me take a look. We have some nice laptop lowdowns today. So let me get on there and find that list real fast. And then we can pop through them bad boys. Let me just see. Um, let me look and hop on here and find the laptop lowdowns. Do, do, hold on one second. Give me one second. Here we go. I got them right here. Here's our uh, laptop lowdowns. These ones are always just beat down and great ones to keep on our list because they always start popping. And we do. We just cycle them in. And I've been kind of rotating the list from the three, four weeks ago. And I'll be going through it today, obviously, updating everything and making sure everything's nice and good to go for tonight and this week. Let's look at our laptop lowdowns, SVRE. That looks like it's doing something this morning. It is. Um, opened at 13 and went up to 14, and it's sitting at 13. Let me just take a look at it, SVRE, and take a better look. Oh, yeah, that's that Saver 1 2014. I didn't. Um, this is looking good. Watch it for it to get on that at 20, right around that 14 and a half cent mark, and it should be cruising. So, uh, SVRE looking good, ADTX. Let's see that down three cents. Well, that probably was Friday. It is today. It is down two cents. And oh, wait. Wow. This one opened that 115, got down to 106 and came right back up to 114. And looks pretty good there, ADTX. So might have had that little dip and rip situation as it's curling up. An interesting one. Definitely keeping an eye on that one. Let's look at BDMD, BDMD, up 13 cents, and that was on today. So this one is moving as well, BDMD. This one had that big old fish hook, and it's starting to move, and we already know once they start, you know, start to curl up, they're going to run around and probably be down close lower than the previous days but they will jump up as they're uh setting up so we're going to keep an eye on this one and you can trade it in between as it sets up we already know that it happens all the time and then once it gets about a day out or so it starts to pop cetx we talked about this one earlier let me just look on my chart real fast and just see where it got up to that 56 cents. It is at 43 right now. I just was trying to see if it was actually trying to move again. But it did run up a little bit and it is still setting up. We'll watch that today. DBGI. And again, today is Columbus Day. There's a lot of banks and other institutions closed. So have to see how the day goes on. Things opened up green. That was a beautiful thing. And we still see some poppers. So that's nice as we usually do. XPON and other ones. So we'll keep our eye on what's going to be popping next. You know that DBGI. Let's look at that guy. That one's nice and down. DBGI. Trying to curl up. I'm going to keep my eye on this. And this is a great list right here to just have your eyes on because these things are setting up. We're going to get set up very relatively soon. Like EDBL, we've been watching it and it is trying to curl up. What's it doing this morning? It did open at 21. It just says it's just sitting there. Let me look on mine and see if I get a better idea. Nope, just says 21. It's probably accurate. So not really moving yet, trying to. So we'll have to see if EDBL can get that momentum and uh, start really cruising back up. FBRX, Fort Biosciences, down about five cents the other day or today let me see fbrx what is that doing oh that is down uh friday so keep our eye on this one it is not uh moving yet so i'll have to look at it fbrx and let's look at lgcb linkage global here we go this one has been in the bottom we've been looking at it lgcb and it is yeah, it is uh, open. It's just sitting at 29, not doing anything yet. But it looks like it wants to try to get moving this week. So let's keep our eye on that. The 20 is coming down for it. It's at 48. It's This is at 29. 
So like I said, it looks like it wants to try to get there and they may meet each other at some point. So we'll keep our eye on that. We have been. How about good old Mullen? Is that up two cents today? Let's see. It looks like it might be. And M-U-L-N. This is a, always a scary one. I'm telling you, it is uh, open today. It's opened at 222. It got up to 223 and it's low as 214. It's at 218. And just beware of this thing. It has split and it just keeps pulling back. And your 20s all the way up at 416, and this is at the twos. And they love to dilute this thing. I've never seen a company so diluted in my life. Um, ONCT, this one is up four cents, and this one's looking really nice right there. ONCT, let's look at this. That's Friday's date, but I would keep an eye on this today as the market opens. It's looking pretty healthy to try to move. SLXN. Let's see what this is trying to do this morning. It's trying to curl back up, and it is open at just 29 cents. Not really doing anything, but definitely one to keep our eye on is that 20 is not too far off of it, like a 20-cent difference, but it's coming down for it, so it's one to keep our eye on. TTOO, T2 Biosystems. This one's been in the basement and dipping hard. At 148, let me check out my chart on this and see what it wants to do. I am familiar with this one, and this one during COVID got pumped up a whole bunch of times. But today, what's it doing? It's not doing anything yet. So on Friday, it was touching the line. That's so what I was trying to figure out what it wants to do. It looks like it could be reversing, and it could try to roll off that MACD. So I think that's one to keep our eye on, TTOO and VMAR. That one I remember was setting up. It says it's up 20 cents. Is that today? That is today. Let's see what it did. Because this one was looking pretty good. What it do today? Opened at 346. I guess it came down. It, it opened up there and then came down to 330. Let me see what this is looking like. And what's Finvis says? It opened at 322 and got to 347. And it's at 342. Um... And mine says it's at 3.30, so I have no idea what is going on with this one. Let me look at Web Bull. That's what we do. Let's see, V-M-A-R, and it says it's at 3.42, so I would say Finviz is more accurate on that one. Wow, look at that. Finviz pulling off the win on that one. Usually my chart's way more accurate. I knew something wasn't right. It just, the setup is... Just something didn't look right, but keep our eye. It's split, and I think it's going to start running. I know we were looking at VMAR, and it is looking solid, and we already broke that yang down, but it is up 15 cents and looking good. So cross through, came out the bottom, and looking solid right there. Let me know if you guys want to see anything. How's everybody doing this morning? Um, Mike Mike Drencalo and L Irish Lucky. Um sunglasses it's a noisy cricket 03 Valer valeria scoper 8 abdul song i just call you abdul alver alvaro and joe i can't even read anyone's name but how is everybody this morning i hope everyone has a great monday it is columbus day and like i said banks are closed and some of the uh institutions are closed so we're just looking to see what's going to be happening and popping here but the market opened nice and green. Our uh, big caps are looking great. Our Mag 7 looks beautiful. The only one that looks like it could have a little bit of pullback would be Tesla. And it's up $3 today. So I'm not saying it's going to pull back. I'm just saying it's the only one that looks like it has the, the possibility at this moment. So they're all looking great. The Spy is looking great. Crypto is looking great. And how far are we out from the election? Because today's the 14th. Let me look at my calendar real quick. Next week would be the 21st and the 28th. And basically, you're about three weeks out from the election. Call it a little over three weeks. So it's going to be heating up, and so is the market. And like I said, the next few weeks, they should be heating up. And that's what usually happens. I always think around the election time, things heat up. But you can kind of see what's going on here. And let's look at DJT real quick, up five cents. It's still up over at 25, and it wants to run up in the top. So DJT looking great. We looked at it at 13 and knew it was going to move. 
And that was a good one right there. Let me take a quick peek over here, see what's going on. And PLT, PLNT, oh, yeah, PLT, what is it? R, yeah, okay. Holy cow, PLTR. Um, let's see, you heard a lot about it recently there, uh, Ren. Let's look at it. It's only been running at its like all time highs for nonstop. It's up 15 cents today. It looks like it's trying to like base out up there. It's not one I would be messing with, Ren, to be honest with you. I don't like them when they're up there. I say every morning if it's running, it could be a, it's a momentum play, but it could be kind of taking its toll right there. I mean, you, you can only run at the top so long. You have to start making some room. The 20 is coming up for it, and it is still bullish. Don't get me wrong, but 38's where the 20's at, and... It, it does need to just kind of make some room. And if it keeps running up at that top, it'll have a big old crash down and people will get caught up there. So you got to be aware of them. And you know, I like them down at the bottom to run up, not at the top to kind of come down. So let's just take a look at a few more LODE for Irish Lucky. There's a couple good ones. LODE, let's see. That's that good old Comstock. I remember we looked at this thing when it was way down there in like the 14 cent area. It has run up as high as 71, almost 72 cents. It's sitting at 46 and trying to get bullish again. Let me take a look at this LODE. It looks like it's trying to set back up right there, Irish Lucky. So that one's looking pretty decent. Just look for a little pullback. Your 20s right there, 44. You're sitting at 47. It just jumped up to like a penny. Just jumped up to like 48 cents, which is like in the perfect spot. So maybe it's going to start curling up right now as we speak. It literally just did it as I was watching it. So um, L-O-D-E. L -O -D -E. Again, I tell you what they look like at the moment. I'm literally explaining that thing in two seconds, not even, what, 10 seconds later, it just completely set up and jumped up into the perfect spot and now could really curl up. So there you go. And that's why I always say 10 minutes later, the chart can change. In this instance, it wasn't even a minute. I was sitting here looking at it, and it happened. And uh, there you go as we approach that 9 o'clock, a little after 9 on a Monday. And it is Columbus Day, but things are moving around. So MLGO, that's just down a hair. Let's take a look. This is a China company. It does appear that it's trying to roll off and get moving some more. I think it's trying to set back up to keep cruising. Your 20 is curling up. It's at 26. This is a 33. And it is trying to curl up for it. So it uh and that one just pulled back a little bit as we're speaking right now. So it just went down it's probably a couple percent. But still just watch for a little pullback. And then yeah, it's gonna set up and get cruising again. So maybe MLGO pulls back today. Maybe tomorrow hits that 20, then we have to really see. But it looks like it wants to try to roll. And again, we're going to keep our eye on these China stocks because with that yin and that yang changing directions, you just don't know these things change directions real fast and they move fast, as you guys can see. I was explaining it for like two months before these all started taking off. And now you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And this is actually kind of a long run. So you don't see them do it this long. And so you have to expect them to change directions pretty soon and, you know, start start dipping off and not running so hard. These China ones, again, it's just a pattern that they do. And that's why I watch them, because you catch these things and now ADTX. Now, this is a decent one after that split, just still, still trying to set up that 20s all the way up at six dollars and the things curl through. It does look like let's do I it could just continue to pull back. Let me look at it online. Let me see if it's it keeps trying to bottom there. Mine looks a little today. Okay. Opened at 115, got up to 117. Low is 106, and it's at 111. And it's not looking bad here on mine. Let me pull that out and see. Um Let me do this just to see what it looks like there. All right. Um. Yeah, it's uh. I'll keep my eye on this thing today, ADTX, because it's getting down there. 
it's hard to tell if it's trying to bottom out or if it just keeps wanting to go down. Uh, each day it keeps pulling back harder and harder. So maybe we get it under a dollar and then it tries to get moving. So let me keep an eye on ADTX because that one is pulling back there pretty good. And there you go with them, Irish Lucky. Let me know if anyone else wants to see anything. Let me hop over into uh, stock twit land and see what's happening. Look at VERB real quick and see what that's up to real fast. Let me see. That's only up like a huge amount off that reverse split. Let me take a look and tell you what we're up on it from uh, where was I posting it at. I had the reverse split right there. Let's see. Where did I say it? Had the reverse split and we were just talking about it. I don't even know what day it was. Where'd I where'd it go? Um here it is, right here. It's up 132% right there. So there you go with V E R B up over a hundred percent. Just from the other day. I, I knew it was gonna be over a hundred percent by looking at it. But uh there you go with V E R B up big time right now and just one that we were watching and again these reverse split ones are crazy so there you go with that one a lot of the crypto is up right now um my thing's just loaded with crypto right now nubaru i told you guys that was going to start cruising back up as well let me just look and see real fast in here i know we looked at that k-a-r-o last night a uh, Carew or whatever it has the earnings. So let's just see what it's up to. It's down 84. Is that, is that today? Wow. It, it, let me see it online real quick. K-A-R-O. It did kind of, it. well, it didn't run up any higher. It opened at 45 and came down because it closed at 45. So yeah, it's, it's actually pulling back there um, for its, earnings so keep an eye because once it hits that 4251 it kind of hits the support area and it could change direction uh, so you just never know with that bad boy so that is a k-a-r-o and it has the earnings this morning let's see what else is happening sophie's up um mstr that's that micro strategies up all the crypto ones like mara and riot they're moving this morning so they're looking good the market's looking good. Like I said, crypto is looking good. And we should have a solid few weeks here. So let me know if you want to see anything today. I'll be checking out the market and placing some trades. I know what options I'm looking at. Again, I kind of went through them all and spelled them right out for you. So keep your eye on these things, especially the Mag 7. They're looking really good. They want to run the next few weeks. So lock them in. Have a great Monday, everybody. Trade smart. And let me just make sure I did everything. Uh, our Jolie's jumpers, we did our laptop lowdowns. We did our crypto. We also did our Mag 7 and the scanner. And I think we did everything there. And everything's looking good. It's 10 after 9, so things are just jumping around right here. VERB way up. XPON, they're your two big poppers. And you know we were looking at them bad boys, so... Could have had either of them at any time. So there you go with them guys. And like I said, let me just see what the news says real quick. U.S. equity futures tick higher before earnings test. I think there's a bunch of earnings coming out. I'll look real quick. Uh, the market rally is broadening. Here's here's a way to play the small caps trade. Uh, China doubts as economy struggles. U.S. bonds closed. Retail sales, big bank and Netflix earnings. And the stock market today, NASDAQ futures rise and oil prices fall. And let me just take one look real fast at one other thing. Because, yeah, starting tomorrow, you have a ton of earnings coming up. Tomorrow, we have Bank of America, PNC, Johnson & Johnson, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup. Walgreens is going to be an intro. Let me look at that one real quick. WBA. Oh, actually, it looks pretty decent. So uh, I'm amazed. And again, the company doesn't look great, but they look like they were going to have that run. We were watching it down here in the eights. It's at 924 and their earnings could be pretty decent. October 15th, they're coming up tomorrow, like I said. So 
keep an eye on that one for a little pop possibly maybe their earnings are a little better because it's pulled back quite a bit and they better get some pop on it because uh the company wasn't looking hot so that is tomorrow and then you have about 27 or 28 of them on wednesday 33 plus on thursday and about 10 on friday so we have a bunch of earnings coming up this week so they kick off pretty much tomorrow and there you go that's what i would say is happening in our market sophie just keeps rolling tesla is going to start moving and i think we covered everything so let me know if you want to see anything today and i would say that's a pretty solid pre-market right there so everyone, have a great day. Lock in those profits and trade smart. Again, let me know if you guys want to see anything else. I'll be here trading, and I'll set out the uh, Web Bull link. I'll look for that. I know Laptop Travel has set it, uh, sent it out a few times. If anyone's interested, you do get some fractional shares, uh, depending on how much you deposit. And it's an easy sign-up. I did it and got approved already, so I'm going to start rocking and rolling on that. So there you go, and you know we'll be doing our live show tonight at 9 p.m., so let me know what you want to see for there. And in between, if you're looking at anything or have any questions, you know where to reach me at, and I'll be posting all day on social media. So have a great day, everybody. And again, lock in those profits, trade smart, and we will start crushing this market. Have a great Columbus Day, and I will talk to everybody later. Have a great day, everyone.